the earlier you introduce them to these ideas, the earlier you get them excited about Jesus and the word and the scriptures. And the final thing is the creepy thing that I've learned, not creepy, is how much even an 18 month mimics the parents' behavior. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we are reacting to college debate loving fathers receive our currency. Guys, let's get straight into this. So me personally, um, I'm a young, young adult. Uh, I'm in the service, and I have my wife here with me, and we're about to have a kid. So, uh, yeah, you see now we're back there. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be my, obviously, you know, it's going to be my first kid. I'm nervous like a normal parent, but um, one of the biggest things that's, uh, you know, things that's weighing on my conscience as I'm about to be a dad, you know, is uh, just the, the environment I'm raising my kid in. So, like, I was lucky to be born in a time where it was less, you know, chaotic with all these, like, gender this, gender that, LGBT, <laughs> ABCD, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> like, all that stuff was not as relevant when I was growing up, but my kid, you know, is about to come into a time where I feel like we're just fighting to know what man and woman is. And that's something that's, like, super basic to me growing up. So, like, me as a dad, the last thing I want to do is to hear my, you know, my son come back to me saying, hey, dad, I'm going to a college to hear about what a man and woman is, even though, you know, 15 years down the line, I'm like, yeah, I did that back when I was, you know, age or whatever. So, like, that's my biggest question is, like, how do I have the confidence in knowing that the, the life that I'm about to bring into this world is something that I can at least control to some point? You know, God controls everything, but Amen. something I can control at some point where I don't have him going, you know, having to fight these trials or these weird people out here. What a great question. Isn't that just terrific? Yes. I love that. Um, I'm a new father. We have a 20 month old, so I'm by no means an expert, but <laughs> you'll learn that kids spell love T I M E. And that's one of the most important things that as a father, every, every minute of time that you can spend is valuable and precious, right? It's not, not as easy. You might have to, you know, serve and be deployed and all that. Yeah. The most important thing you can do. Um, remember the scriptures tell us children are a blessing of the Lord and you are the guardian of that child, right? Which means you must protect that child from outside influences. There are three types of people in this world. There are predators, there are infants, and the protectors of infants. You fall into one of those three categories. So you're about to welcome an infant into the world. And especially as the head of the household, the male, um, you must constantly be looking at the threats, right? You must constantly be looking at the attack vectors because there is a growing, unregulated, unchecked community of predators in this country that are coming after children younger and younger and yes. younger. And it's you as the father to instill values from a very young age. And so I'm by no means an expert, but I could tell you this. I have seen over many years parents that have brought their kids to turning point events, parents that have exposed their kids to these ideas, and it bears fruit. The earlier you introduce them to these ideas, the earlier you get them excited about Jesus and the word and the scriptures. And the final thing is the creepy thing that I've learned, not creepy, is how much even an 18 month mimics the parents' behavior and how much that they are in the mold. Everything you do from what you say to how you act. So not as if there's like enough pressure already on you, yeah. right? Um, you know. <laughs> right? But look at that as like, I gotta be the best version of myself. And as soon as you get married, you are no longer a boy and you become a man. But when you become a father, a whole different thing comes in, yeah. right? Because becoming a husband is awesome and that you'll always have that. Father is like a different level, right? Yeah. And um, balancing the paranoia with the, you know, the fun times is something that all of us new fathers have to realize. And I get told this all the time from parents. I don't know if I would have kept my head if I had to raise a kid in today's America. I get that told all the time. Because it's just, it's a different world. Um, but with God, with God, all things are possible. Yep. Amen. Yeah. God bless God, you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, this was an amazing question. I really don't believe you turning a child in a place where you don't appreciate their values. And for me, that's one thing about black people. I would say, when you see your child is already doing some stupid and you send them back home, like, go learn, like, go back home and understand where you came from. Like, we don't act like this. We, we don't tell our parents to shut up and stuff like that. And, like back to this, you turn your side in a society where you feel insecure about. I believe that before you let them out there, you need to install those values in them. Because you leaving your child to go to school where they're teaching them that you might be born in a wrong body and you can change your gender. You just need to say you feel like you're in this person. And you just need to you can be attracted to your fellow your the same sex and there's nothing wrong with it. It's all accepted. I, I really don't See, it's more like 
is being promoted. You see a man that is straight, a Netflix movie, and you just look at another man in a kind of way, and they kiss. See that sometimes you have some awkward eye moments with some people, and you really don't understand it. And people are trying to make you feel like, oh, it's love. Maybe you are gay, and you don't know. Like it's rubbish. And it seems that they're bringing this into the church, and people are actually scared. So you see pastors who are proud to say they are gay pastors, which is absolutely against the Bible. It's just upset. But like, I honestly believe that we are actually changing. Like this, this phrase have come, but like with the help of people like Charles K. Candice Owen, like Jordan Peterson, like Andrew Tate, this kind of mindset is being removed because people already see that it's wrong. Like it does not make sense. It does not mean that if you feel that way, you won't accept it. Like I, I will say this, I really found, I don't really like, I don't believe that it's normal for you to be attracted to the same sex but it does not mean that when you attract the same sex i will treat you any differently i believe we are all humans and so people have see life differently but i this is my personal belief i don't just believe that it's logical and it makes sense but if you believe you like the same sex like i won't hate on you or anything like that. i don't give me wrong. i'm not trying to make hate on gays but like i'm just saying if you want to go by science because you can't Science said we are animals and you cannot see a male dog to be the male dog. It's not just possible. So, guys, if you like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.